I have uh, I have the feeling of looping inside uh, since the since the 60s and 70s we are just restarting this this question in in, in a different in different way and hi my name is Yunus Atban I am an artist uh, from Morocco um, I am a choreographer and uh, a visual artist I make performances as if it's a workshop space to create visual archive. Um, I live actually now between Berlin and Casablanca going back. I was in residency here in Paris for one month, working on a project called the Post-Decolonial Artist is Waterproofed. The waterproofness, it's something also I'm working on a lot because I consider myself was born in a land and cross the, the 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 sea to another another space so i had to be waterproof uh, to be able to resist to all this condition and today i think i achieved this waterproofness somehow through thought i am questioning the effects of postcolonial theory in the field of art specifically in the mina region north africa middle east i'm trying to question that by uh, by using fiction and futuristic fantasies uh, and imagining something that will be called post-decolonial art as a continuity of post-colonial art. So that's, that's what I was working on here. Because it's always we look to it from the view of the past, you know, and we always like, still because it's a past story I mean colonization it's a past that it's still prolonged the effect of it is still prolonged so for example if I talk about Afrofuturism it's happened because the United States because the African community want to see the the history different in different way it's like repairing somehow certain parts of the history and that's what I actually am trying to do. And I'm trying to see fiction and futurism, futurism specifically, as a, as a way of rethinking certain, certain... I guess, I guess maybe I, uh, I stop like going to, to talks about the question of decoloniality because I have the feeling that... Uh, I have the feeling it's like from one conference to another one, it's just we we try to create as much poetry about it, but it's it's still in Morocco we're gonna sit and we talk about this question in the academic field in very deep possible and taking reference and taking books and notes and not the, the moment when we're gonna leave the the, the 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 spaces and go to a cafe. The person is sitting next to you are suffering from this question, but without being able to name it even. Okay, it has it has credibility in the moment that it's coming from the academic field, and the artists have to follow somehow what the academic field is is pro proposing to them. So, but yeah, what is what is the efficiency of it? I mean, that's uh, the, that's question of looping. We are talking about it. Okay, it's, it's something that it's not just from today but it's always presented as a as a like uh when i read text i feel like the person he discovered it even like you know so that's looping process it's like problematic because if i had for example if i had this reference and i could i could uh, i could have the accumulation of the other initiative uh, i think it could have a new quality yeah it has to be public it has to get little bit out of the academic uh, field and the art field it has to to be in schools i don't know if like i don't remember that we study it for example there is no text about like just we talk about colonialism but as a as a like we are today in the modern world so we don't talk about this question so that's that's why i feel like it's kind of still uh, still without efficiency in the in the in the audience because the problem like I mean, talking about Morocco, what audience is consuming, it's mainly reference. Our school methods are imported. Our also self-culture, it's kind of 
abandoned or like almost like became like folkloric we start we we we, we create a category like very conservative vision to it and it's uh, and then there is the modern uh, and the modern world and the modern expression and we cannot uh, the, you know it's like it's becoming like culturally pr super uh, problematic and the, the structure is clear and artists he always like try to find a place inside this structure where he can uh, belong to and when he can be heard it's very dif dif difficult to create a parallel structure and to be like out of it but i think it's interesting to be in and to also explain it and giving giving tools for reading it uh, will create for sure another another contamination in other with other art yeah the reflection gonna have more wisdom by 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 giving all the the po possibilities um, yeah so um it's very, very difficult. I mean, the art field, it's like, we, we never know. We never know how it's like, who is some, uh, where, where it's depend the context. Some um, if you are in the art market, if you are in like uh, exhibition inside the museum, it's not the same context and, and so on. I think each context have its own, own uh, conditions. Yeah, I mean uh, the art world is 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 very is a very specific place. I would say it's uh, uh, it's somehow it's still the space where where uh, everything is allowed, even like non-human <laughs> out of values or so, uh, human value. It's like the dreamy space of the capitalism by putting. A lot of value in in small material, small object. So uh, it's very exquisite space and super private somehow, uh, where er everything is connected. The power, the 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 uh, yeah, the geopolitic, the politic, the protagonist of this, of uh, of uh, they uh, they always have to create sense and create value and create new 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 rules yeah creating specific environments of for creating values so that's that, that that's uh, I'm, I'm talking specifically about the visual art field mainly maybe the art uh, the, the the performing art it's i would say kind of there is a kind of honesty <laughs> so with the art market with all this the, the the museum playing a specific rules the institution maintaining this this question of the value, keep keeping the idea of domination. When you like, if we talk, we talking about postcoloniality. I think the prolongation of colonialism is that today, through art and culture, we are all like somehow prolonging the 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 power of the colon of the colonizer, the who colonize. So by by being culturally depending to his reference and to his methods and to his uh, art history and, and so on. Yeah, somehow I, I will call it, it's like, it's like a group therapy, you know, where someone come and recognize the mis mistake that he's, he's doing and then he's leaving kind of like happy. <laughs> so what's gonna be like the post decolonial? Okay, we the question of decolonizing art is already happening. So what's gonna be the post decolonial? What's he gonna talk about? What's he gonna blame? What decolonize? Ah. But first, a word without without visas, <laughs> <laughs> with simple mobilities, and I think I think we gotta go in toward there. That for, for there, maybe there will be hard moments or again, but uh, I think it's. It's by human being by nature. You want to pass all the discrimination possible. It's a discrimination or, or the, 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 the this 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 question. Um, I think it's a world where uh, 
the u- human being he is lo- always looking for justice and they consider like it's important to to yeah to f- to to go there and to fight for and to talk about it. 